So we have our product mixture in this centrifuge tube. If you notice, there are two layers in this centrifuge tube here. The bottom one is the aqueous and the top is our organic layer. We did the dehydration of 2-methyl cyclohexanol. One of the side products is water and that is what you have here at the bottom of this centrifuge tube. The top layer of course has our product mixture as well as some of the xylene. So what I am going to show you now is how to remove water from this reaction mixture and dry it. So first of all what we will do is extract this reaction mixture with brine that is saturated sodium chloride solution. So take sodium chloride solution using the attached plastic pipette and add sodium chloride to this reaction product and place the cap back and shake the tube well by inverting the test tube back and forth. Again, in a little while, you will notice that there will be two layers in this test tube. Why will we have two layers? I had an aqueous and an organic layer to begin with. Now I have added saturated sodium chloride. So there will be more of the aqueous layer and we have to remove that aqueous layer from this test tube using a pasture pipette. And where will that aqueous layer go? You can transfer the aqueous layer to a small beaker or to another test tube. Just save it till you are completely done with the experiment and then you can discard it as aqueous waste. So you notice that there are two layers, bottom aqueous, the top organic there is the fine separating line here between the two layers and we are going to remove this aqueous layer using the pasture pipette. So take the pasture pipette with a bulb attached to it. Press the bulb before you insert the pipette into the tube and then insert the pipette all the way to the bottom of this centrifuge tube without releasing the bulb and once it is all the way at the bottom slowly release the bulb and remove the aqueous layer and transfer it to a small beaker. If there is still some more aqueous layer left in the centrifuge tube, then you want to continue the process, squeeze the bulb, insert it and release it only to remove the aqueous part of the mixture. As soon as you have withdrawn all of the aqueous layer, take the pasture pipette out without releasing any more of the bulb here. Because if you continue to pull the liquid, even after taking out all of the aqueous layer, 
then you will be withdrawing some of the organic layer as well. So it is very important that we remove only the aqueous part and not the organic part. It is easier if you hold the test tube right in front of you, then you can notice the demarcation line much better. Insert the pipette and watch the boundary go down as you pull the liquid. There is still a drop that I see of the aqueous layer. So I'm just going to very gently squeeze the bulb. And now I have taken out all of the aqueous layer from this mixture here. 